The Windows Backup Utility has been vastly improved for Windows 7. Let's look at the Windows 7 Backup and Restore Utility now. The utility is available through the Control Panel under System and Security, but we can launch it easily from the Start menu by clicking on the globe and searching for Backup and Restore and then clicking the result that appears. OK, so as you can see, there are no backups currently set up. To set one up, click on Set Up Backup. You'll need to enter your administrator password or click Continue if user account control prompts you. So Windows Backup will now start. Now we get to choose a backup destination. This step trips up a lot of users, so be sure to pay careful attention to the on-screen prompts and also click on the guidelines for choosing a backup destination to learn more. This page is very helpful and explains the advantages and disadvantages of several types of backup media. So take the time to read it and understand it. You might also want to visit our guide to backup media. The link is below this video. OK, so I've closed that for now. On my system, we can see that it's possible to save to a hard drive here or to a CD drive here. Obviously, this means recordable CDs or DVDs. I'm going to click on the hard drive here See we get this warning message down here. The backup utility knows this isn't a good place to store my backups because this drive is on the same physical hard drive, what's called a separate hard drive partition. Now it's unlikely that your system will be configured like this, but this is a good example of how the backup utility can help you if you pay attention to what it is saying. Okay. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and save on this partition anyway. In a real life scenario, I'd use a network location or an external hard drive instead. So let's click Next. Now there's the matter of choosing what to back up exactly. You could specify yourself exactly which files to back up by choosing this option, or you can let Windows choose. I'm going to choose Let Windows Choose, then click on Next. With the Let Windows Choose option selected, all the files and folders in your Documents and Libraries folders will be backed up. This backup also includes a system image. Now, system images can be used to restore the PC in the event of a complete failure of the computer's hard drive. Very handy. OK, so we're all set to back up. By default, Windows sets the backup to run every Sunday at 7pm. If this isn't convenient, you can click here and change it to a different day, time, or even have the backup run more often. Right, we're all set. Let's click on Save Settings and Run Backup. Windows 7 even let create a system repair disk. You can do that by using this link here. We can use this disk in place of an operating system recovery CD if your computer manufacturer did not include one. OK, so the backup is now running. I'll pause the video while this takes place. OK, so when the backup has finished, your backup and restore window should look like this. Your files are now safely backed up. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to recover files from a backup.